This is Movie Recapped here. In this video, I will recap one of the comedy films from 1986, titled, What Every French Woman Wants. So, without further ado, let's get started. The story begins with a young teenage boy, Roger, coming home from school for the holidays. Roger is on a carriage and is accompanied by a woman who works on the farms that provide food for the mansion. He is spending his holiday at his father's villa but there are other guests sharing the house with him. Roger continuously looks at the woman whose garments do little to conceal her breasts. This makes Roger so excited since puberty has hit and like any other 16-year-old, he is quite determined to explore his sexuality. The woman, La Pelle, notices how Roger looks at her but she ignores it blaming it on hormones. When the carriage reaches the mansion, Roger is received by many women who are part of his extended family. He meets his mother who wonders why Roger's pants are wet. Roger is highly embarrassed since he had gotten a little carried away earlier but his aunt Margaret comes to his rescue. She chides her sister saying that teenage boys are like that. Roger is happy to see his family especially his small sister Bert. The two are close in age and have always enjoyed each other's company since most of their interests are so similar. Roger settles in the house peacefully happy to be away from school. At night, Bert sneaks into his room, and the two siblings gossip. The next day, Bert takes Roger to the nearby woods so that they can explore as they used to. Bert spots a butterfly and she is in the process of trying to catch it when Roger is startled by Le Purr. La Purr explains that she was fetching some vegetables and fruits for the house. However, Roger is very distracted as his attention is focused elsewhere. After La Purr leaves, Roger goes looking for his sister. In the process, he trips and falls. Roger goes to get up but he hears some moaning noises coming from the bushes. Further investigations reveal Ursel, a busty maid from the mansion getting busy with a man right there in the bushes. She locks eyes with Rogers and the poor boy runs away terrified. Certainly not a great sight for a virgin boy. However, this is just the start since Roger soon realizes that everybody in the house is doing something to sat their needs. He witnesses another younger maid, Helena delivering tea to someone. Before she can make it out of the door, that person grabs her and takes her from behind. Helena fights a little but she allows it. Roger watches as the two adults indulge their fantasies before Helena tidies up and leaves. Later that night, Bert sneaks in again and reveals that the only person in the house that is a virgin is their Aunt Margaret. Apparently, she is so scared at the thought of sex that she is repulsed by men and hence unmarried. The next day, Bert reveals her naughty side after she takes Roger to the river banks. She reveals that all the maids of the house come to bathe at the river and she has a spot where she spies on them. The two climb a tree and stay hidden just as some maids approach the river. The maids undress and begin bathing while talking about their various escapades. Soon, several men come to the river as well. They notice the maids across and the men urinate in the river showing off their impressive tools to the women. A while later, Roger's father comes home accompanied by Roger's elder sister called Elisa. Elisa is very beautiful but she is timid and quiet. She greets everyone in the mansion with a hug but only gives Roger a peck on the forehead. Roger is disappointed because he wanted the hug too. Meanwhile, Bert cooks something up. She drags Roger Margaret's room and the two enter the ceiling through a vent. They approach the confessional box where Margaret usually confesses her sins to the priest. Margaret reveals that while she has always feared men, she has found herself being attracted to Roger ever since he came home. She has fantasies about him and even dreams of being intimate with him. Roger is overjoyed to find that his aunt has fantasies about him. Unfortunately, his joy is short-lived when the ceiling crumbles causing Roger to fall directly in front of the priest. The priest and Margaret report Roger to his mother who wonders what the ideal punishment for the nosy boy would be. The priest suggests that Roger is whipped for his bad behavior and Margaret agrees to do it. She whips Roger on the back for a while leaving him terribly sore. In his room, Roger is lying on his stomach when Bert comes in. She laughs at his ordeal so Roger sends her away. A while later, Roger hears the rhythmic thudding of a cup. He investigates and finds that Helena is receiving some action from the same mystery man that she was earlier. Roger desperately wants to know who the man is so when Ursel comes along to nurse his wounds, Roger asks her. Ursel laughs and says that everyone knows who the man is but they will not tell him as it is a secret. Okay. Roger decides to ask his uncle Frank about it. He finds him with his hands in his pants while staring at something on the telescope. 
When Frank hears Roger approaching, he quickly stops his activities and leaves the room. Roger approaches the telescope and notices that Frank was looking at a couple dancing naked in the yard. Frank had also left behind a book that Roger quickly takes. He sees that it is a very dirty adult book. Roger is intrigued and he begins reading it. He is still skeptical of being found out so he does it secretly. One day, Roger is reading the book in the barn when a male worker approaches. Roger hides so he is not found out. Helena comes in and starts feeding the horses through the window. The male worker closes a hatch which causes Helen to be trapped and the male worker takes advantage of her. Roger wants to help but Helena stops him since she likes what the man is doing. Roger goes to Elisa's room and replaces her regular book with the adult one. He spies on her reading the adult book feeling delighted at giving her a taste of pleasure. That night, Roger realizes that everyone in the house is indulging in carnal activities except for him. He decides to change that and heads to the kitchen. Remembering Helena, he grabs Ursul intending to take advantage but the older woman smashes a plate on his head. However, she apologizes and feels sorry for Roger so she decides to get intimate with him. Unfortunately, the two are interrupted before they can do anything and Roger runs away scared. Roger approaches Le Pur who agrees to have sex with him but once again, the two are interrupted by the postman who announces that all men will have to join the army since World War I has begun. The next few days are sad for Roger since everyone spends time with their partner while Roger can just watch. Soon, a party is held to send off the men and Roger is left at the mansion with Frank who claims to have asthma. Bert takes Roger to eavesdrop on their mother's confession. She is worried about being intimate with her husband as he makes her do many positions and she feels that they are sins. The priest assures her that she can do whatever she pleases with her husband. Later, Roger is swimming when he notices a maid reading a book by the river. He approaches her and scores. Following his two successful encounters, Roger is confident enough to approach Margaret and offer to show her that there is nothing to fear in men. Within a few weeks, Roger is having sex with everyone in the mansion, the maids, his aunt, and even his sister Elisa. Soon, every woman in the mansion except his mother lines up to get serviced. The young man enjoys himself too much that he even lets three women in at a time. All great things come to an end and soon, the men return home from war. Roger is relieved that his manly duties are done but his relief is cut short when the consequences of unprotected sex are revealed. Ursul, Margaret and Elisa are pregnant. Roger knows that if his mother finds out what he did, then he is a dead man so he comes up with a quick plan. He tells Margaret to get intimate with Frank so that he can assume responsibility for the child. He also paints Elisa's sheets with red nail polish so that when she gets intimate with her fiancé, he will believe that she is a virgin. The last person on his list, Ursula, is engaged to a village man. The three women get married and Roger's troubles are over. Or are they? Helena also reveals that she is pregnant. Roger decides that he should get Helena a husband. However, Helena reveals that she has been intimate with almost every man at the mansion and all that she has to do is pin the child. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button so you never miss an update.